Now in this video I'm going to go through a problem that once we've gone through more the matrices section you may find that there are alternative methods that would enable you to get to the same result. Uh, but what we're going to do at this stage is just use our current knowledge to see if we can solve this problem. Let A be this 2 by 2 matrix, 3, 1, 2, minus 5, and we need to find uh, the matrix B such that A times B is equal to the identity matrix, so represented here by the letter I. So our initial reaction to this should be, well, I can write down a general uh, matrix for B. We could write it down as A, B, C, D. So I know that when I multiply these two together, I need to get the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. OK? So what we're currently looking at is a situation where we're going to have to multiply out these two matrices and see if we can solve the resulting equations that we find. So if we do 3, 1 times the AC, we'll get 3A plus C. 3, 1 times the BD, so 3B plus D. 2 minus 5 times the AC, so 2A minus 5C. And then 2A, sorry, 2 minus 5 times the BD, so 2B minus 5D. OK, and that's going to be equal to this 1, 0, 0, 1. So what we know then is that if these two matrices are to be the same, then the 3A plus C is going to have to be 1. And the 2A minus 5C is going to have to be 0. The 3B plus D has got to be 0. And the 2b minus 5d has got to be 1. So this gives me two sets of simultaneous equations where I can work out the values of a and c from these two and b and d from these two. OK, so I'm going to go to the Casio class whiz and I'm going to go to the simultaneous equation solver. Uh, so 3, 1, 1, so reading off the coefficients, 3, 1, 1, and then 2, negative 5, 0, and we get 5 seventeenths, that's A, and C is 2 seventeenths. So if we go here again, so 3, 1, 0, and 2, minus 5, 1, and we get 1 17th for B and minus 3 17th for D. So that means that the matrix B must be 5 17th, that's its A. B would be the 1 17th. C is the 2 17th. And the D is the minus 3 17th. Now, you can factor the 17th out, if you like, the 1 over 17. And then we've got 5, 1, 2, negative 3. OK? And so that is how uh, we can find the required matrix B using the current knowledge that we have.